G'day teachers, welcome to uh, my tutorial on how to use Edmodo. I find this is a great program, uh, so I'll just be quick and show you how to get on and what it can do. First of all, go to edmodo.com. Once you're there, sign up now, it's free. Click on the I'm a teacher button. This will take you to the uh, sign up little, uh, whatever you want to call it, window. Just fill in all of your details there. I use my work one. Uh, agree to the terms of services. Uh, as you can see, all filled out, looking beautiful. So this is what you'll find uh, when you come in. This is the, the home screen. Um, there's a couple of different screens you can look at. If you come over here to the profile, this will show you my profile as a teacher. So here I am. As you can see, this is uh, all the other teachers I've connected with couple from this school, a couple from my old school. I get badges for doing different things. I can also give students badges. So there's some of my badges as you can see. You've got angry badge. I give that when a student asks for a badge. Good answer. Laura got her own one when I first started. Pass it on badge for someone that very helpfully passed on information. Etc. Etc. So that's a fun way of uh, interacting with the kids. But back to more important things. So let's actually start a class. So we come over here to groups and we create a group. And this is what comes up. You've got your example class. So I'll call it example class. You might call it year 11 modern history, for example. First grade, they're doing science, they're physics, they're pretty excited. Create. Once you hit the create button, this is what you'll see. And you'll be given over here a group code. Now the students need to get that code and when they sign in and register and they do the exact same thing as you, they just click I'm a student, they click on join over here and when they do that it asks them for a group code. They put your group code in and it adds them to the group. And the only people that can see all of this are the people that belong to that group. So you can actually, there's a little thing if you, if you hit here that says lock and once you've got all your students in, you lock it, no one else can come in. So they can't even tell other people the code once you've got your students in there. So once you're into your, your class, there's a whole heap of things you can do. For example, uh, let's create a quiz. So you just click on quiz, create a quiz. And these quizzes are very, very easy to make. You've got, obviously, add first question. Uh, you can actually choose from a drop-down menu uh, what kind of question you want to have and you can choose from multiple choice or short answer or fill in the blanks etc etc you can type in how many minutes they have and when they hit take quiz it starts counting so you can say homework due tonight they have to do it um, obviously call your quiz something uh, and you can say when it's actually scheduled uh, for all things for um, for assignments and for quizzes and for polls you can actually schedule when to have it. So you can choose, hit the calendar, pick a day, choose a time even, hit OK, and it will pop up and say the quiz is now available. And they can then take it and it'll give them that 60 minute or 60 or 15 minutes or however long you want to give them. I find it's good for HSC students to put them under pressure, get them thinking about essay planning for example. So Back to here, you can write a note, and that'll appear here for your students. You can send an alert, which will actually email them and tell them they have to do something. Uh, you can do an assignment and actually include the assignment within there. Uh, you can do a quiz, which I showed you how to do, or you can even do polls. I find polls are quite good uh, to get real-time answers from students about how they're feeling about something or whether they got something. To do a poll, you just click on poll. Uh, type your answers in. You can add an answer, make it more than one, or more than sorry, more than more than two things they can choose. You can then hit send, uh, or you can schedule it and do it at a certain time. Uh, and it's quite good for, as I said, getting feedback. And what you can do is, I'll, I'll show you an example actually. What you can do is in the answers, uh, for example, it's possible for tyranny to be beneficial in some circumstances or situations. You got yes, no. I've got yes, in certain circumstances, leave reply. So they can click one of these buttons, that's reply. They can have a little emoticon that says they like or they dislike something. But you can hit a reply, and you see, Carmen has hit it, and she said, during emergencies and times of war, decision making only lies with a single person, which means changes are able to be made more efficiently. Great stuff, I gave her a badge for that. Good stuff, Myra, show us that you're thinking. 
at the top of the area where we had posts, that was the main area, you can click folders over here, uh, and what, what you can do is have different folders, just hit new folder, and in each of these folders you can have media files, you can upload or you can link to videos or to files, homework things, anything that you think they're needed, and you can say, it's in your media file. Uh, this is an example of my Germany 1918-1939 file. So there's a, a thing that was missing in the booklet, so I added that. And they've got a couple of videos that I've made uh, for them. It's basically me lecturing about different parts of Weimar Germany. And I've said, go in there, and then I've made a quiz um, about that. So they watch the video, then they have to answer the quiz. All right, and if they hit play, it just a little window comes up and it plays the video for them. And they can watch it in Edmodo. You can also have a small groups. So you can actually put students in the class into different groups. So for example, I've got girls and guys here because we did an activity with different groups. And they also looked at different historians. So I split them up into the Lee group, that's the historian, and the Puko group. And what that does is the students are able to only see the posts from those uh, those people in their group. And here's an example. So this is group one in legal studies. Uh, they had to look at a, a, a case uh, of, of Corey Davis and, and had to do a different overview and Eric had to talk. And so they could actually discuss themselves both in Edmodo and as a group and come up with different aspects of the assignment that I asked them to do. Uh, so I am a member of each group and I can go and I can see how the group's going in real time and say, you haven't done this yet, I said 10 minutes, hurry up. Good work, award badges, etc, etc. And finally, I've found it's quite good for Christian uh, perspective. I chuck in a poll and that's really good starting off. Uh, you know, here's a poll, you got to tell me why. Um, so, you know, hit reply, etc. So there's, you know, seven more replies talking about why they think that's the case. Really good for discussion starters. I'll pick something from one of the replies and say, you know, a bit of a devil's advocate. Why did you say that? How does that work? Etc. Etc. So hopefully that helped. Hopefully that's an enjoyable experience for you, listening to my uh, sultry tones, uh, and that you can use Edmodo to engage with your students in a way that is enjoyable and great. Bye.